Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'asum, Yahweh Sa'a Ba'asum, Rakakadaz, the bondage to the apostles and elders of great most of must respect to you, brothers out there, this preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, the tabernacle of David, the hopeful elect, and the speckled bird, the one says Shalom. So, the Lord's moving, man. The Lord is moving. He's showing his power. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to have to get this scripture. Because Lord willing, I put the video before this uh, about the little storm. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. You see, the Lord is visiting this place and that ultimate the ultimate storm that he's bringing is those nuclear missiles destroying this place and, and various parts of the earth. But especially here, Babylon the Great and in our land, Israel. OK. Uh, for those who, that are new, all right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are Israelites, okay? And then you also have the speckled bird, the speckled bird being our people, the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations, but the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children in power, okay? So this uh, uh, this message, this word, it's resonating in your spirit and you know it's the truth. Okay? And the Lord's name is not dreadful unto you. The Lord's name being Yahweh, and the Son's name being uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, let's move on. Let's go back to the pictures. So, yeah, man, the uh, Lord is moving, man. The Lord is moving. And uh, eventually, the Lord is going to give Esau Edom that green light. Pretty much, uh, uh, you know, you either taking a vaccine or chip, or you are you pretty much getting blasted, man. That's where why, that's where this uh, uh, new world order is heading in, heading to. <laughs> All right, and they're trying to pro slacky. They're trying to prolong the wicked ass kingdom. They they really think that their kingdom is going to last forever. All right, so as you as you see here, this is. Um, it says Bibles and newspapers will be banned under new hate crime law. You see, you know, they, they pretty much thinking you get the men of the Lord out there off the streets and off YouTube. This kingdom can last because because his word, his word hurts. His word is burning them, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. This uh, Let me get a uh, Psalms. Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever in their dwelling place to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And who is this man? As he saw Edom. Okay. The most proudest people on earth thinking that their kingdom is going to last forever. Well, it's not. All right. No matter what you do. All right. You take the word out. As uh, it just makes it closer and closer to this wicked ass kingdom being taken out, man. As that's, that's all it is, man. As that is all it is. Matter of fact, um, let's go Jeremiah. Let's see Jeremiah five and fourteen. Wherefore thus saith Yahweh, power. Of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. And that's what's happening, man. That's what's happening because our meat is to is to do the will of the Father. You know, we coming in that spirit of Yahweh Shai. He was out there on the highways and byways, and we're out there on the highways and byways, and they can't take the heat. So <laughs> 
They trying to uh, ban newspapers. They they pretty much trying to go to an all digital system, anyways. But this word is burning them up. This is uh, John four and thirty four. Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to is is to do the will of Him that sent me, and to finish His work. You see, we're coming in the same spirit of Yahweh Shai, and that's our job to go out there on the highways and byways and, and blowing that trumpet, man. Keep on blowing that trumpet. And we seeing the effects of blowing that trumpet. He saw Edom's getting scared, man. <laughs> He's making moves. Okay? He's trying to make his kingdom last forever, but it's not. It's not, man. You is through, man. You is through. <laughs> All right? Esau Edom is through. So no matter what you what you do, man. Matter of fact, this is for our people. Because it's just it's just plain, man. It's just plain to see. It's 1 Corinthians 14 and uh, 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. This, these are the times that we in, man. These are the times that we are in. So you either get this truth or not, man. Get this truth or not. <laughs> All right. All right, because uh, uh, all this stuff is going down now. This is a good quote. All right, take your Bible and take your newspaper and read both. But interpret newspapers from your Bible. You see, we're spiritual. We're spiritual weather, man. OK, we watch the news or read the newspaper or come across articles and we filter it through the scriptures and tell you what's going on. All right. So that's our job. So, you know, that, that, that was a very wise quote right there. And uh, this is our uh, YouTube. OK, because as you see, YouTube is, is, is making moves to get us up. To get us off uh, off the platform, man, you know, <laughs> to the point where, you know, if uh, a, a person is on the video and uh, you didn't have their permission. They can pretty much, uh, um, you know, I have to read it all, but pretty much they, they can remove, remove that video, you know? So they, they, try, <laughs> hey, they trying their hardest, man, to get us off this platform, man. What's well, okay, man. Go ahead and do your thing, man. Because when you do your thing, hey, this just makes it closer and closer to this wicked ass kingdom being brought down. All right. Uh, this is another article. New York will lead the way. Camino vows to mobilize army to vaccinate all New Yorkers fairly. You see, <laughs> these are the times that we in, man. And that's why I read that scripture in uh, first Corinthians 14, 38. You know, hey, you either know this truth or not. OK, this devil is moving. He knows that he has but a short time to rule this earth. You see. You see, you know, and, um, you know, these are the times that we in. The, the Lord is going to try your faith. See that you faithful, you know, because his servant shall eat. And you got to remember that his servant shall eat and be filled in these last days while everybody else is going to be out here starving and, and looking depleted, man. Being in a pitiful condition like boozy is <laughs> or. What boozy is uh, uh, about to be in, man? You know, Lord is the Lord is plaguing that man, and the Lord is gonna play the two thirds. <laughs> so, and, and ultimately, that ultimate plague is that nuclear missile, man. That that we waiting for to see the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, man. And that's what we waiting for. So, with that, let's let's get some more more scriptures, and I close out. This is um. Let me go to Amos 8 and 11. All right, so this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, save the Yahweh power. Now I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Bashim outside. You see, taking away the newspapers, taking away the Bibles, trying to ban them for hate speech. You know, uh, a matter of fact, 
Matter of fact, I got to gotta get this. Revelation 2 and 10. This is what we moving to, man. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, shall cast some of you into prison. Why? For hate speech or, or whatever he deems, you know, going out there to the highways and byways, man. You know, because his word is fire. And Esau, Edom, and the two-thirds is wood. <laughs> They're being consumed. They're being burned by this word. They can't take it. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of, crown of life. So no matter what, man, you know, understand, live or die, the Lord got us, you know. You still going to have the last laugh. Have that in the back of your mind, man. You still going to have the back, last laugh, man, because you're going to come back with them new bodies if you die in prison or, or whatever has it, man. Dying for this truth. You're going to get the last laugh. You're going to take them out. <laughs> They're going to be destroyed. Okay? Or the Lord may show his power. And uh, uh, you may be able to uh, break out of prison or what, what has it, man. We don't know a lot. We don't know. All we got to do is endure to the end like the Lord says. And we'll get that crown of glory and the last laugh. The crown of glory and the last laugh. I love that right there, man. So that's what we move into. Back to Amos 8. Amos 8 and 12. They shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it. And that day shall fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. So these are the days that we coming into, man. You know, hey, get this word while you can. Get built up. Learn these scriptures. You know, we still got time to go out there to the highways and byways. So do it. You know, do it. All right. These are the times that we in. And um, eventually we're coming into the times where we won't be on YouTube. Hey, that's that's it's the wheat and the tares, man. Wheat and the tares. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, that's, that's the times that we coming into. All right. You to get this word right now. Or by the time. When they take us off, off YouTube or whatever, you know, <laughs> and, and, and you was procrastinating, doing whatever, watching every other video on YouTube but the truth, you're going to be out here thirsting for this word. And you're not going to be comforted. <laughs> you're not going to know what's up. You're not going to know. All right? You're just going to be out there lost. Matter of fact, um... Second Ezra's five. Second Ezra's five. Nevertheless, as the coming, the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. You see, for not taking the vaccine, for not taking the RFID microchip. OK, these are the times that we come in. And and just because the Lord is giving Esau Edom that green light to take out our people. You see, that sword is being furbished. All right, is being furbished to take out a lot of our people, man. You know, this this man is a dragon, but he presents himself as a lamb. He speaks as though he's a lamb, man. And our people eat it up. <laughs> All right, instead of us out there warning you, blowing the trumpet, they don't want to eat up the words that we give unto them. So you're going to be taken in great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden. And the land shall be barren of faith. You see, the way of truth is going to be hidden. It's really, it's really going to be hidden, man. All right. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now to have root shall thou see wasted suddenly. So this place is going to be taken away, man. That's what it's leading to. So. Hey, you know, YouTube, do your thing. Esau, well, it's really Esau, Edom, controlled by the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, you know. So the Lord, the Lord is seeing us blowing the trumpet, giving the Lord no rest. <laughs> OK, so it's it's beautiful, man. So I'm going to close it right there, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. Keep on pushing this word. Keep on blowing that trumpet, man. All right. We almost out of here. Shalom.